So hate from Pakistan. Okay, Sheikh, my question is regarding prayer that when I pray behind an imam and whether it's a silent namaz or a loud namaz, in the first two rakats, I know that the Imam reads Surah Fatiha and then he also recites an ayah and in the third and fourth rakat he doesn't do that and I do the same following him. But I have noticed and it's not regarding one particular Imam whenever I'm praying in the masjid that they recite Surah Fatiha probably with a much faster pace in the third and fourth rakat because they quickly go into the raku when I'm reciting the Surah Fatiha. So is there any case uh, is there any ruling that you have to recite Surah Fatiha faster in the third and fourth rakah? The answer is no. The Fatiha's paste is the same in all four rakahs. So if you're praying dhuhr, the speed of which you recite the Fatiha as an imam or an individual or a follower is the same in all four rakahs. Unfortunately, <clears throat> a lot of those who lead the prayers don't have knowledge and a very essential part of knowledge for the Imam is to be aware of those praying behind him so even if you recite the Fatiha and most likely you will recite it in a fast fashion you have to pay attention that behind you there are those who find it difficult to read it as fast as you they have problems with pronunciation. So if you recite it in an X given amount of seconds, you should add more seconds to that just for those behind you. So that they would not be rushed into cutting their Fatiha and then their prayer is invalid because you did not give them time to recite the Fatiha. Unfortunately, the vast majority of those people who lead prayers, especially in small masjids, don't have knowledge. So, so they just re re read the Fatiha, but not paying attention to the Fatiha, to how it should be recited, to how they should contemplate. And our episode is about pondering, contemplating up, uh, uh, on verses of the Quran. How did the Prophet ﷺ react to such uh, uh, verses? These people don't. All what they care about is how many rak'ahs they're uh, concluding, how many verses of the Qur'an they have read, especially in taraweeh, if they finish the Qur'an during Ramadan or not. And this is not the right thing to do. And have you ever taken a, a counseling session with me? Go to my website and you will find counseling sessions and apply for one. If you can afford it, <laughs> that's good for you. If you cannot, you're entitled for one free session. And this is for everybody. If they can uh, uh, um, affirm by Allah that they cannot afford it because they're poor, I'll give them one free session without a problem, a full half an hour. So come to me and let's speak about it, inshallah, within the following two days or three days. And bi-idhnillah azza wa jal, I will uh, 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 try and seek Allah's guidance to solve your problem once and for all bi-idhnillah.